Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the last video, we have seen that how we can create a flat list in React Native with TypeScript. And I told in the in last video that uh, this list is not selectable. We have to make it selectable. If you require selectable list, selectable list means if you see here demo, I click on this, it's official website React Native. So we click on this and it's changing the color on the basis of selection. You see, so like this we want and that we can implement here on the basis of selected field. So you see that uh, we have this list and now I want to make it selectable. For that I need to create a state variable first of all. So I create here a state variable I say const that variable is selected id and I say set selected id from use state and it is of a string type so we say string type you see that is of a string type save this now we need this for checking the select selection so uh, suppose i want to click on this id in this list so it displaying the item so i want to pass here id also so for the first change that i want to make so in place of passing the title i am passing the complete object and that complete object I want to define here. So I say this is item and item of data type. Data type and here I want to display item dot title. But before that I want to set set selected ID and I want to set here that item dot ID that you have selected. Save this. So this ID we have selected that I want to show. After this selection, I want to check that I want to change the color of background and the front color on the basis of this ID. For that, we have a style here and I have a background color also of this style if you see here. So this background color I will remove from here. Why? Because this is not required here. I will change it on runtime. So I create here of this array of this type. Under this array, I pass, I set here comma and then I create an object under this I paste the background color because I will change this background color on runtime but the value of background color is depend on the selected value so for that I say if item dot id equal to equal to selected id like this so I say question mark remember that so uh, for that I do some formatting here so here we have uh, the selection so if something is okay means if everything is okay and selected id is match then what i do i should give the same color which they are using so they are using this color so i also use this color so i paste this color here like this way i save it so remember that we are using this as a background color if the item id equal to equal to selected id then color is this otherwise this we are doing this way and save this this way done one more thing we have to do we have to tell the uh, flat list that something is changed so on the basis of extra data you see that on the basis of extra data we have property here extra data we will pass this if the selected id is changed then it re-render so we have to do re-rendering it so we say extra data and we have to pass here selected id so selected id change when we click on a id and on the basis of change id in this uh, in this uh, state variable it will re-render and it will re-render and it will check that background is changed so you we see that here so i click here and you see that is check the color is changed and it changed the background color you see i click on this and it check that color is change and it dynamically we are changing the color but we have to change the color of this text also means the title color that we want to change so for that what i want i need to change the color from here i am saying here blue so i cut it from here because i need to change it dynamically on the basis of selected id so again same i do here so i just do the some setting in array and then i set some align setting that is under this color 
here same logic I want to implement so I say here that uh, item dot ID equal to equal to if selected ID then question mark then this one then I want to change the color so I will change it color to the white color and that is blue so I can say it is black color so by default is black but if we change the color then it is white you see color is change now so I click on this first item so it display first item and this color is change it become white color background is changed to brown color you see so we make this list as a selectable list but the logic behind the selectable list is remember that this extra data property we have whenever we change the value of this this flat list re-render so whenever it re-render is check that if the property here the item is matched with the selected item then background is changed and if we have the item id change with selected id then we change the text color also so this we are providing here in line setting you see and we can do uh, here formatting like this way we have a formatting so you see that all these things we did inside the render item so we can create one function also and we can pass all the value within this function like they have did you see they have created a function here here we have property and they have created some one separate component as a function and in this function they have used all the coding but for understanding how this list is working we have used the simple method and we achieve the same thing which done by this and we have the selectable list here that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video